What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. So this is just going to be a all you need to know weekly update. We do it every Thursday. We've been doing it for months and months and months since the game started in eFootball 22, right? So it's just a roundup if you're not at your console or if you're not able to check what's new, right? So firstly, we do have new legends, Rivaldo, Saviola, and of course, Patrick Clivert, right? Thumbs up to Saviola. Rivaldo's kind of mixed and Clivert is a thumbs down for me, but you can check out my full review of those and the breakdown. We go into every bit of detail, right? We also have a bit of news that we'll get into as well, but just to give a quick run through of the menus, right? So the events as we speak, the still on is the USL Championship and that is it. We also get the event here. It's the rinse and repeat as we usually get. It's the uh, buy three XP. Spanish League to celebrate obviously the Barcelona announcement we'll get to that in a second as well but you've got the Spanish League um, that ends in six days and we also have this legend event that is ongoing so for those you get your skill trainers and you get a couple of other goodies and then the user match is re plenished as well so you can get your 50 coins there as well so i mean it's pretty much the same as it's been for the last couple of months really now on to the actual content that we get today and the news right so the first thing is is that we don't have anyone added to the shop yet i think that they're going to add these um players when the new update comes and we'll talk about that update because six days time those guys are gone right but we do get a bit of news about some other stuff, right? So when we go in here, we're going to take a quick look here at the actual large scale maintenance. Now, why is this important? Well, I've already covered a video of it um, where they've talked about when they're going to be updating the game, right? I reckon that this is the date that they have set for the window, right? I have a video up on this where I talk about it in more detail, but they basically say that eFootball 2023 updating to eFootball 2024 is going to be commencing and is scheduled for the 4th of September, right? That is a Monday, so I reckon they're going to probably aim for the 7th of September. I would say it's the first Thursday in September. They'll want to get the game out. They usually try to go for that window between the 24th of August to the 10th of September. That has been their window for the last foreseeable like when we get like the update or an early update or the transition over so that is the 4th of the september 4th of the 9th 2023 after the large scale after that the large scale maintenance um will continue on until it ends and it says that that will be announced at a later date so maybe it could take a full week could we see the maintenance last from the 4th all the way through to the 11th I reckon they'll try and push for it for the 7th, for the Thursday, because that makes sense in terms of their rollover of content, the players, everything that usually drops for eFootball and has dropped for eFootball over the last couple of months since eFootball has begun has been on a Thursday, and then you get more cards on the Monday, right? That's the life cycle of it, or the turnover. They also say that the only thing during this event uh, that you'll be able to play during the event will be, or during the maintenance will be the trial match, okay? So they also talk about this here, which a lot of people have asked me, is this an actual uh, bit of confusion for them, right? So they talk the schedules of the following events and campaigns will be update, updated during the 10th of the 8th. So they actually talk about the 10th of the 8th here. So I could be wrong. It might be the 10th or the 11th where they take a full week to maintain everything, get everything scheduled up. But they talk about just different changes where they're going to be making these now. Um, they they were on the starting on the 10th of the 8th, right? Um. They were starting on the 10th of the 8th, which was today, and these are going to have a new end date for when they are. So you can see that before they were running from the 28th to the 8th, now they're running from the 4th to the 9th, or the 4th to the 9th. So the 28th of the 8th, which is the 28th of August, now they're going to be ending and running until the 4th of September. So that ties back in with that large-scale maintenance. So everything seems to be running into September now, right? They also talk about this in active save data. We were planning to conduct a large-scale maintenance at, on the 4th of September. Save data that matches the conditions communicated on the 29th of the 6th will be deleted, right? If you want to keep your data, make sure you log into the game, proceed to claim the login bonuses, right? So that was just an old thing that if you have anything in your inbox here right and we do get a free uh fc barcelona chance deal which i'll get to in a second but if you have anything in your inbox here just claim it all there's no point keeping it just claim it i know people are trying to wait uh, i don't know why but you do have your chance deal in here as well right so we've got all our rewards from here and then in terms of the players just before i get into that we do also have the legends here, but we have new summer transfers. So I'm going to do a video on these as well. This is the second highlight pack from the summer transfers. So last week we had, you know, uh, Havertz, 
Um, we had a couple of good players in here. We had most notably Nakunku, who's an absolute demon. Mason Mount, this is a fantastic card. And I would also like to get my hands on Timber and Torres, lads. These are some good cards in here, especially if you haven't started the game. I've seen a lot of comments on my YouTube uh, comments lately and my replies saying, you know, I'm a newcomer. I've downloaded the game. I'm not getting FIFA this year or EAFC. I'm trying to eFootball for eFootball 24. And this is what it's aimed at. It's to give people a chance to start off eFootball 2024 with a full year contract of a player. That's a beastly player that you can still play with and test out now. So Timber looks like the main attraction here, lads. He's got blocker interception on wavering form. Absolutely. I mean, this guy is going to be a rock no matter how you play him. And that 80 aggression is going to be insane with 23 upgrade points for his player levels. Diaby, one of my favorite wingers ever to use. 90 acceleration straight off the rip. Surely one of the fastest players in the game. He's actually going to be on standard form, but that's not a huge worry because you are going to be getting that live data update starting again, especially going into eFootball 2024. We also have Mason Mount. Being a Manchester United fan, I'm still torn on Mount, but let's see how he goes. He's actually got some nice levels to go as well with 29, standard form, but he's got some lovely player skills, including soul control and double touch, but no one touch pass, right? And the rest from here, Madison will be a good option as well. We do have the Barcelona legends as well. You've got one free. We're going to open that free live here now, and hopefully we get somebody, but you can also spin for that and complete the, complete the agent as well. No, in our luck, we won't get anybody, but this is just basically a news roundup. I mean, to be honest with you, lads, I'm in a position now where with this squad, I don't really need any of these players. Like, Saviola is not going to replace Romario. Yes, if I can test him out. Usually what I do is when I'm doing player reviews and training guides, I will test the players out either on co-op, um, if somebody has him in the Discord, and I'll say, look, can I get a couple of clips with Saviola or Rivaldo? Um, you know, and that's great because I'm able to test out the players, but usually when you've played with other versions of the cards are players that are very very similar to the cards like Saviola is going to be like Romario that's basically how I would say it and then the rest of the packs are all on here as well 24 days so that 24 days is actually a very interesting one because everything is now ending in that 24 day period right so that brings us right up to that uh, position of the 4th of September, right? And then it just depends whether the maintenance, they might plan it for three days, it could be seven days, it could end up being one day, who knows? Let's see what they're going to be doing, but they're going to be updating the entire game, right? Everything else, lads, that is it. We will talk about the Barcelona little thing. I did a full video on this already, but they did announce that Barcelona, the hair is getting wild, the, that Barcelona have signed and extended their partnership don't listen to fake rumors, lads. Don't listen to clickbait. I mean, there's no point because they don't know what they're talking about. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If, you know, it's exciting to talk about rumors and what could and what couldn't happen. But uh, I always wait for the official information. It's very frustrating when you know stuff and you can't come out and say it. But that's about being respect of, um, or respectful of... Um, of plans you know that they have set in motion right so i would always say right wait until you get official confirmation that you know barcelona will not be in efootball 2024 because you see you know that that they are going to be in here i mean they got their kits updated last week and people were still talking about it so yeah that is it for me let me know what you guys think we will be grinding lads big time with efootball 2024 i have a big announcement to make as well so i hope you guys will follow me along for that and i hope to see you in a live stream streaming thursday and friday and uh, we're going to have the crack and uh, i will talk to you then don't forget to subscribe if you're liking the channel